Hi, I'm Shane Barr. Welcome to Online Shoe Repairs. The best way to get to the Online Shoe Repairs page is just to go up to here and simply click on that there. That will take you across to the shop. And then how it works is you click on the items that you need, check out, put your payment through, send your repairs to us. We'll contact you as soon as they arrive. Once we've done the repairs, we'll carry them back to you. All the repairs are guaranteed. Any issues at any point, just give us a call. So I'm just going to walk through a sale just so you see how it works here. And basically, let's go with heels. Click on heels. Over here, the width of the heel is how it is charged. The width is from one side of the heel block here to the other side of the heel block. So you can just measure that with a ruler or take your best guess. Uh, for a normal pair of men's heels, that's going to be the 90s. Uh, for stilettos, those are really thin ones. Ladies, thin heels are 33. And most normal ladies' shoes are going to be about a 67. Some of the boots might be a 90. I'm going to go for the 90s today. And we're going to go for some brown ones. And go down to add to cart. And that'll pop it over into the checkout there. Now, if we wanted to add some half soles or something as well we'll go up here to where it says shoe repairs and that'll just take us back to that main bunch of choices here and so if we wanted to add some half soles we'll click on that and then size wise there's a bit of detail up there but basically small for ladies and large for men's but sometimes um, you know some ladies boots do take a large or if it's got real tricky edges we'll normally charge the large anyway so we're going to go large and the brown to go with those other shoes and add that to the cart let's put it into the checkout now we'll go over to the checkout and that's got your repairs listed here if you want to check those details if something's not right, you can simply exit there and then go back over using continue shopping and correct things. So that all looks good. If you've got any issues, click on one of these down here, return policy, and my phone number's there. Feel free to send me a text or give me a phone call if it's really getting to you. I'm going to go back over here to check out. And now it's asking for all your details. One thing I do find, depending on how your internet address is, is down here it's got the country set up as United States, which is very annoying. If you simply click on this little arrow here, it doesn't do anything. You're best to click on where it says United States, like such. Then you can scroll down to New Zealand. I will get the tech guys to fix this eventually and just have it saying only New Zealand, but uh, for now it's past their game, it seems going to get New Zealand click on there and then you can just go ahead and fill out the rest of your details you can do most of your details first anyway but sometimes it's easier just to change the country before you forget about it uh, Shane hmm let's try that one looks all right and then I'm going to go next and then because the order is over a hundred dollars there's no shipping if it's just Mountain Tauranga, you could click on there, rest of New Zealand there, and rural there. So it's going to go with the 100, and click next. Then it wants a card number, expiration date, etc. Let's just see if that would work with uh, um, just some random. No, nope, not working. No, it's not loving it. Right, so you've got to have an actual credit card number, which I'm not about to go and buy something at this point. So, once you've got card number, expiration, and a little three-digit number on the back there, get your uh, shipping details sorted, and then you'll be able to click next, and it'll take you through there. Any questions, just give me a call. Uh, on my mobile number, there's fine, or you can email shane at shanes.co.nz, and uh, we'll get it sorted for you. Thanks for your time and uh, look forward to seeing your repairs.